Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to add MongoDB to our Yelp clone. In my case Yelp Comics, but obviously it'll be whatever your Yelp clone is. So first thing before we do any of that, I'm going to clean up after myself and get rid of this cars um, directory that we were playing around with. So I'm in the week 10. If I ls, there's two folders, cars and Yelp Comics. So I want to rm-r. Remember you have to recursively do that whenever you're deleting a directory. Cars. Boom. Now I just have Yelp Comics, which I'm going to CD into, and then clear my terminal. So as of right now, our list of comics is gone as soon as we stop that node process. So if I do no daemon app.js, it runs. I go to this um, to the page. It works. Here's this. Let's say I add a new comic. Submit. Got a new comic right here. As soon as I stop this server and then start it again, that comic's gone forever. I can never get it back without actually inputting the data again. This is obviously terrible because you have to restart your servers from time to time um, just to update and things like that, not to mention other issues such as like if you lose power or something like that. So we need to add this database. So let's outline our steps real quickly. Step one, we're going to create a new database in our MongoDB Atlas. Step two, we're going to create a new user inside of MongoDB Atlas to use with Yelp clone. Step three, we're going to add Mongoose to our Yelp clone. Step four, we're going to connect Yelp clone to our new um, Atlas database. And then step five, we're going to refactor code to use the database instead of that hard-coded object. And this is going to be over the course of a few videos. So step one is to create a new database inside of our MongoDB Atlas. Note that you don't have to do this. You don't have to um, come into there to the, to the UI and create a new database um, manually. You can just do it programmatically, but I'm going to do it this way because I like to. Database name will be Yelp Comics is what I'll call it. And the collection will be Comics. So there's our Yelp Comics database, and we have a comics collection inside of it. So we created that. Now we need to make a user, so database access. Right now we've got an admin, and, and actually I'm just going to keep this same, the same user. I'm not going to worry about adding a new one. So now we need to add mongoose to Yelp clone. To do that is very straightforward. npm i mongoose from inside the Yelp Comics directory and I'll be right back after that's done installing. Alright, that has finished installing and now what I need to do is actually connect using um, Mongoose. So let me pull up the Mongoose Mongoose.js docs again so you can see exactly how to connect to Mongoose. It's right here. You require it and then you put in this boilerplate connection string. So let's go into app.js and connect like that. Remember that um, this connection string is wrong. We don't want that. We want our config.db.connection. And we actually have to make one more change to our connection before we can use it, because right now our config is pointing to the practice database. We want to connect to the Yelp, did I call it Yelp Comics? Or did I call it Yelp Clone? What did I call it? Yelp Comics. So we want to connect to the Yelp underscore comics, or in your case, Yelp cars, Yelp games, Yelp whatever. And again, username there, password here. So save that, and then save our app.js. Config.db.connection is how I saved it. And this object of options is just boilerplate. Just punch it in, and trust me that it works. So let's go ahead and no daemon app js and see if it works or if it gives us an error when it tries to connect. Nope, no errors. We're good to go. We are we are connected. It worked like we're hoping to. And that's it for this video. What we did is we created a new MongoDB Atlas database. We could have added a new user to it. We chose not to, but we could have added a new user to access that. We installed Mongoose to our Yelp clone using npm. We connected our Yelp clone to the database, our application. And in the next video, we're going to create a schema for our comics and then refactor our routes to use that database instead of the hard-coded JavaScript object. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.